Hello everyone, this is the next app in our productivity series, Priority Matrix, uh, here for iOS. I'm using this on my iPad, and to be honest, I'm a little bit skeptical about how it's going to work um, in productivity, but there are some great features here that I want to point out to all of you and show you what's going on. First and foremost, Priority Matrix is a way of prioritizing your tasks and keeping them in line with everything you have to do on a daily basis. It's very easy to go in and reorganize all of your tasks and all of the activities that you have to do, um, as well as keeping a tally of everything going on in each project. That being said, one of the issues that I have with this app is what happens when you are adding new tasks and new projects and how they don't necessarily include all of the information that I would like to have. First off, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. This is where everything comes in to basically a full circle idea for me as an app. When you click on the new project icon, you're going to be presented with some models of matrices that have been well documented over the past few years, including the getting things done method uh, by David Allen, which is very popular right now. And what this will do is it will give you a new project. You can set and define colors. You can show a wide range of items. Um, and just kind of make things a little bit easier for you to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So I went ahead and created that uh, under the Getting Things Done mentality by David Allen. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just start populating a bunch of tasks. When you go ahead and create your first task, um, you are presented with this window where you can add icons to remember what the task is, you know, to of course add the title and information about that task. You can add notes, you can include how much time it's going to take to do that, you can set start and end dates and due dates, you can attach files, you can email this out to people, and you can of course do all of the things that you would like to do with your normal tasks. What it doesn't have, though, is a way of you very easily sharing all of these things with your team. And what I mean by that is if you want to share this task with folks on your team, you can email it to them. Or you can create an account and email them to allow them and give them access to your priority matrix files. Um, either way, I'm not very happy with that interface of sharing documents with a team. I prefer a method of keeping track of things and keeping long-lasting documentation. Um, I don't want my team to inadvertently delete a task that we've been working on. Um, one of the nice things about Priority Matrix is the quick and easy way to create projects and tasks. Um, it very much follows the getting things done mentality, so if you are a subscriber to getting things done, Priority Matrix is a great app for you. Uh, 